Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, June 9, 2021. If you like the support channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have tried to rally, but are still struggling at the 20 exponential. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish, the CASIC is bearish, the CCI is flat, and the RSI is flat as well. If we were to break down from here, we we'll most likely find support down at the 89.52. To the outside, if we manage to rally above the 20 exponential, then we have found massive resistance at 90.62. So let's look at oil. Oil continues to go higher. It did break down roughly 1% and then just continue uh, rallying. So there is uh, around 70.90. That is probably going to be the floor in this market. We'll have the 20 expansion moving this way as well. Uh, 20 simple moving average in this way as well. And the 50 moving average in this direction. So every time... We get close to uh, 70 uh, point 90 that will probably have buyers come in and buy this to the upside uh, like we saw today so at this current stage we're trading at 70 point zero two and uh, long-term target at this point it looks like 75. um technical indicators we can see the macd is bullish the cgi is bullish the stochastic is uh, stochastic is bullish cgi is bullish and the rsi is also bullish but we are on the edge of being overbought so pull back towards this resistance line will mostly be where we'll see buyers come back in so let's look at natural gas which is starting to look uh, really exciting so i have uh, no justifications for why this basically is at at this level because uh, Usually, this is the time of year where we see natural gas declining. Uh, but this is an area of interest. We can see right here that we have tested this area in the past. We tested it here as well and got very close to it right here. And now today we got towards this level here and then we basically broke down quite aggressively, even though we are in the green still. We were up roughly 3.5%, where it was most, got up towards 3.1934, and then broke down towards 3.13. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat now, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is also bullish at this per the current stage. So uh, this is probably the, due to the fact that most commodities are rallying, then this is also rallying. It has been bouncing off the 200 moving average, we can say it here and also here. So if we were to break down, then probably 2.77 is as far as this will go in, in the first run. So let's look at uh, copper. So copper has tested the, the nearly tested the 50 moving average yet again. It has offered a massive amount of support in the past. You can see it here. You can see it right here. And usually it uh, takes a while grinding just above the 50 moving average before uh, basically rallying to the upside. So that's kind of what I expect at this current stage, even though we have been, we saw this massive rally here, then the sudden decline all the way down to the 50, stabilize, and then continue back towards roughly around uh, five. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see that stochastic is bullish, that CCI is still uh, bearish, but it's turning around. The RSI is flat, and uh, the MACD is, is bearish at this current stage. If we manage to break above the 20 exponential, then we we're most likely going back towards uh, 4.7, and the top of the bullish band of 4.75. Uh, break below above these candlesticks here, then we are looking at 5. Break below the 50 moving average, then we could see a sudden drop all the way down to 4 and the 200 moving average. But last few trading days have seen uh, proven that the 50 moving average is still massive support. So let's look at gold. So gold uh, fell towards uh, 1884 and then rallied. We're still in the reds. Technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, the CCI is, uh, is still in bullish territory, and the RSI is flat. If 
we managed to take out these previous highs here in 1900 and we we're mostly going towards 1950 and then 2000 break below the 20 exponential obviously to the 200 and the 50 moving average we should offer a massive amount of support we will most likely have a crossing of the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average around this area and that probably will be when this will rally significantly to the upside so let's look at silver So silver did break down uh, below the 20 exponential and then rallied and now we're just settled just above the 20 exponential technically they are mixed macd is bear is bearish the stochastic is uh, flat cci is bearish and the rsi is bearish as well or basically flat if we break below the 20 then the middle uh, bottom of the bullish band at 27 offered a massive support here um, rallies will mostly find resistance at the 28.33 so let's look at platinum. So platinum did break down towards 1154 and then rallied a little bit. We're still in the red now. It looks like we, this we're starting to trend towards the 200 moving average or 1100. So 200 moving average is moving this way and uh, we will most likely go and test 1100 before anything significantly happens to the upside probably if we break above the 20 exponential and the 50 then we are mostly going to target back these previous highs but it looks like momentum is going to the downside if we look at technical indicators we can see the macd is bearish the stochastic is bullish and cgi is bearish and the rsi is bearish as well so let's look at pallium so pallium did break down quite aggressively towards it 2745 before rallying up towards the 50 moving average again at 2810. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is flat, stochastic is flat, CGI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. Break below here, then this could open the door to 2500. Uh, rally above the 50, 20 exponential could open the door to the top of the bullish band at 2920. So let's look at uh, aluminium. So aluminium has rallied yet again today, so a fairly encouraging sign for aluminium. You can see the MACD is still bearish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So if this continues, that will most likely target at 2489 and then the top of the bullish band at 2518. To the downside, 50 moving average should offer quite a lot of support as it has done in the past. So let's look at nickel. So nickel is just bouncing off at the 20 exponential and stabilizing here as long as we don't break below the 20 exponential then we could expect this to make a rally up towards uh, uh, 19,000. if we look at technical indicators they are well flat and turning around this point like these flats the casting is turning around become bullish the cci is bullish and the rsi is flat break below the 20 exponential opens the door to the 50 down here at uh, 16,000. 974. So let's look at sugar. So sugar did rally significantly. We did not take out these uh, previous highs. Um, if we did, then we will most likely go towards the top of this cha channel uh, of the range, I mean, at the 0 0.18. Uh, but this is still a fairly bullish candlestick. There's almost no pullback. And if you look at technical indicators, they are all favoring the upside at this point. So it may well be that we'll go back towards the top of the of the of the bullish band and a break above here. Then we could go and target these previous highs again. To the downside, break below the 20, then we are going to test the 50 moving average at 0 0.16. So let's look at cotton. So cotton also rallied today, gave most of its gains back, but we're still stabilizing above the 50 moving average and as long as that is the case then there is a fairly good chance that we'll get a chance back at the 0.9t which is our previous highs here and to break above that then we are mostly going to test 0.95 technical indicators we can see that my, all of them are very bullish at this current stage so let's go cocoa so cocoa did uh, the last three days has uh, fallen significantly and today we rallied a bit so we're still in this square and uh, 
long as that is the case, it is fairly predictable where this could go. You can see that we tested it um, three times almost, and uh, here we have tested it twice, so we could head back towards the highs. If we take it, break it below these lows here, then we're looking at these lows at uh, 2237, and then towards 2084. 20, Technically, they are well, MACD is bearish, thus the CASTI is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this current stage. So let's look at wheat. So wheat did rally up towards 700 and then gave nearly all of those gains back. So we're still above the 50 moving average and uh, we are getting having a, quite a lot of support at the 50 moving average. So it may well be that we'll break the 700 and that will open the door to 750. If we look at technical negatives, we can see the MACD is becoming bullish, the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this point. Break below the 50, then we'll drop back towards, give or take, 638. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.